hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is abisola in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make a very tasty and delicious basmati nigerian jollof rice so guys come along with me as i show you how to go about it into your pot you add some vegetable oil you're going with some beef yes i'm going to be using beef for this jollof rice so make sure you season your beef very well when cooking it and then i'm just going to go ahead to turn as you can see so now my beef is golden brown so i will take them out and then we'll go to the next stage of the cooking so now we're going to start by adding curry at time to that oil that we used to fry the beef and then i'll go with some onions so i'm just going to go ahead to saute these onions until i eat fragrance and then the aroma fills the whole house you get what i'm saying then i go in with some garlic too it is necessary apart from all the health benefit that comes with using garlic it helps with the taste of your food and honestly once you get it right you will never stop using garlic so now you go ahead to add some tomato paste into the oil and then you stir for about one minute two minutes they're about to the tar taste of tomato paste is gone now this is the pepper mix i'm using i'm using blended tatashi rodo tomato and cayenne pepper for my jello fries i use a high percentage of tatashi which is called red bell pepper for my jello fries because it gives a very very nice taste your jello fries is very important to have that much number of pepper that is tatashi because tatashi is not peppery a lot of people do get that wrong but it helps with the taste of your jello fries and it's even one that helps with the color not your tomatoes so guys i've added the seasoning as you can see and then i went in with some um meat stock and now i'm just going to go ahead to stay see you can see that i'm frying my base my my jollof base because it is not necessary for you to fry your jollof base very well because this way your jollof will come out very very nice so now i'm just going to go in with some washed bas basmati rice as you can see i'm using golden cellar bas basmati rice i've put the picture in the video as you can see so this is the basmati rice i'm using i only washed it i didn't parboil it because you know basmati rice does not stay take long to cook so now i'm just going to stir and let all the rice and the sauce come together have a good combination before i now add a little water to cook now i'm just going to add some water as you can see i'm not adding a lot of water because jollof fries this um, basmati rice does not have body like your people will say kolara baomi does not have um it cannot take a lot of water because you don't want it to be too soft you want your rice to be very very nice and you want the consistency to be good so now i've added the water and then i'm just going to go ahead to cover it let it cook on a low heat please don't be in a hurry to cook your jello fries if you're in a hurry please don't cook jello fries because it's better your jello fries cooks on a very very low heat so now this is the first stage um, i'm done like the rice is almost getting to that last stage like it's almost 70 percent done so i'm just going to go ahead to stay I really don't know how true it is that you should not stir jello fries with thinness spoon but well i'm using this wooden spoon to stir so i need to stir it now to combine very well at this point you can also check for taste like you want to check for salt seasoning or spices so if everything is well done then you go ahead to add some margarine or butter so i'm using simon's butter for this and then i'm just going to add some sliced onions to it you really need to add your onions to this stage of jello fries because it also takes this taste of your jello fries to another level then i'm going to go in with some sliced tomato yes fresh tomato some sliced fresh tomatoes so now i'm still going to just stir them together then i go in with the beef i fried earlier honestly you can cook your basmati jello fries without the beef but i just need the beef for extra deliciousness and yumminess so now i'm just going to cover with foil paper then then i will let the rice steam together for another five minutes on a very low heat so guys at this point the rice is almost ready so i will just check for to see if the moisture has dried up as you can see and then i will just stay again guys at this point your rice is almost 90 percent done and you are ready for a sweat time so guys at this point i see that there's still a little bit of moisture in the rice so i'll just cover it and let it cook for another 
three minutes on a low heat by then my rice is done like it is ready to be saved so guys now i will go ahead to save my rice and this basmati rice is ready you cannot go wrong with this recipe honestly like this recipe is still the best of the best of the best so i add this rice with this grilled prawn i used a little bit of, i don't know that i've deleted the video for this great prawn but i have the video on my youtube short or check my instagram for the recipe guys this prawn is the bomb like you will really love it, it was really well spiced and seasoned that honestly as i'm voicing this video i am craving it so guys i went ahead to save this with the jello fries we just cooked and honestly this made a very perfect dinner for us in my house so guys if at this point you watch this video and you really enjoyed it that means this video is very helpful and if you are not yet a subscriber if you've not joined this beautiful community guys please join now and subscribe also like share and drop comments i've been seeing a lot of new comments on my page and i'm super excited that you all are taking your time to comment on my videos and you're also giving me feedbacks i really appreciate it. and thank you for 7k subscribers i really appreciate you all thanks for watching guys